Oh hi, didn't see you there. Today we will be visiting with one of America's most beloved and revered poets, Robert Frost. Frost was born March 26, 1874 and was well known for his depictions of New England and ordinary people in everyday situations in his poetry. Frost's work is considered timeless and over time he became one of the most widely admired and highly honored American poets of the 20th century. Now Frost died in the 1860s, so we kinda sorta had to use some necromancy to reanimate his dead body. But don't worry, it's all safe. And now we can go wake him up. Wake up, Mr. Frost. Oh. Wake up. Oh. Ah, whoa, whoa, who are you? Whoa. Oh, where am I? Oh. Oh. I smell like cheap alcohol and cigarettes. We've all been there. Ah, very funny, yeah. Uh, take a seat, Mr. Frost. Ah, huh. So, oh. oh. that hurts. Who are you? I'm Dirk, Mr. Frost, and we reanimated your body. We put your brain in the body of a teenager who died of a drug overdose. But those are only minor details, don't worry about that. It's year 2012, and we wanted to ask you some questions. Mm. 2012? You don't say. Well, are they flying cars yet? No. How about complete meals in a pill-sized form? No. no. How about talking robots that do whatever you say? Ah. Uh -huh. No. Uh, this future sucks. Did society do nothing but do drugs for the past 50 years while I was dead? Ha ha ha! Yes, they did. Uh, great. Oh well. So what'd you want? What'd you want me to answer? What, what'd you need? I'm doing a documentary and I wanted to ask you some questions. Alright, shoot. Well, first off, when did you become interested in writing poetry? Well, it all started when I was in high school. I really took a liking to my English classes. And eventually, my first professional publication was in The Independent. My poem, My Butterfly and Elegy, was published. Very interesting. Now, what made you so interested in writing and poetry? Well, there were many hardships in my life. My father died of tuberculosis when I was 11. Mother died of cancer when I was 26. And depression and mental illness ran rampant throughout my family. I, had to commit, I even had to commit my, under, my younger sister to an asylum where she died. Only two of my six children outlived me. So poetry allowed me to escape from all my hardships. Allowed me to express myself, to analyze social and philosophical themes by using where I lived, in New England. Sounds sad. Now finally, what would you say is your crowning achievement? Probably when I read a poem at President Kennedy's inauguration. The original poem that I wrote blew away in the wind only five minutes before I was going on to speak. So I had to recite a poem from memory, but luckily I did it without missing a line. Very interesting. Sounds like you lived a very fulfilling life. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you know, I really miss everything that happened. In retrospect, I wouldn't change a thing. Anything else? Just one. You are said to be one of the greatest poets of the 20th century. What is your response to that? I'm a poet. No more, no less. It's my life's work and I took pride in it. Being named the greatest of anything is really only a relative term, isn't it? I believe so. Sounds good to me. Thank you for your time, Mr. Frost. Wait, where are you going? Going back to the hole you dug me out of. Well, folks, you heard it here. Robert Frost lived a life filled with hardships and turmoil. That created one of the most brilliant poetic minds of our time. His themes and settings are timeless, being passed from one generation to another, with the same cultural weight and meaning that they held so many years ago. Thank you, and goodbye.